Pauli here. Um, welcome, of course not welcome, you've already been here for five minutes watching the track and stuff. So, which means by now you already know everything there is to know, so go home. No, that's not what we're doing. Quenzel, you have no idea what that is. There's two reasons why you're here. Reason one, uh, you like my channel and you watch every crap I put on. Uh, reason two, you're interested in Quenzel custom guitars and you want to uh, see a video, hear it, 
before you, you know, sit in the car for a couple of hours and drive to this amazing guy. Um, uh, reason three of two, you have too much money. So spend it there. We're looking at the Quenzel standard. We already looked at the Quenzel standard. So what's happening? Why? Well, because this is a little bit different. The standard pretty much describes the shape, the standard build of his model, the standard, uh, with a shaped maple top. That's it. Um, it's pretty much like, you know, in the Les Paul world, you've got the, the junior, which is just flat top, no, no maple, just mahogany. And uh, this is the big one. Let's call it that. Um, who is this guy? Markus Quenzel. It's an old friend of mine who makes completely handmade super traditional method amazing guitars and they cost as much as they're worth they cost as much as the work he puts in but if you're in the market for a guitar on the highest level we're talking about as good as guitars can possibly get um you should check him out um as i already said this is the standard model which in terms of shape, clocks in somewhere between a Les Paul and a Strat, which means we're in the type of PRS territory. And he put his own spin on it, which I really like. Um, because he has this rounded off cutaway up here with this natural binding. This is not paint or anything. This is actually the maple top natural binding swoop. Kind of like the Nike swoop. Very cool. And this very sharp edge down here. So he definitely put his own spin on it. Uh, the headstock also a little bit unique. Um, definitely those guitars, when you see them once or twice, you will recognize them immediately. And that is a high task for a luthier like him. Now, let's talk about this puppy. What makes it special? It's not the special, it's the standard. The special is coming in a different video. But this guitar is special in a standard way. Well, whatever. Um, if you're interested in exactly this guitar, look at the date of the video. You might still be able to get it. Um, because it is for sale for around 4,500 euro. Yes, 4,490 or something. So, um, why is this one more expensive than the normal standard? Well, two reasons. Reason number one, it is not mahogany, it's actually swamp ash. I just have to check so I don't make any mistakes. I made some mistakes on the Harley Benton guitars. <laughs> but, um, it is swamp ash, and I thought mahogany was the most expensive wood, but wrong! Swamp ash is the one that you put more money on the table for. And you can see that, I'm not going to show you the back yet. Um, you can see that on the back. The top is a piece of 5A highest grade flame maple you can possibly get. And as you can see it, it's a, a tri-burst. It's a, an absolutely beautiful sunbursty kind of thing from black to brown to yellowish yellow. Um, so the wood is one aspect that makes it more expensive. The other thing that makes it a little bit more expensive is the fact that for the complete guitar nerd who needs the best of the best, this whole guitar is also sunburst in the back. Now remember, this is not a machine that does sunburst, so it costs five bucks more. This is a guy standing there doing every aspect of the build in a one-man show, okay? So this beautiful burst is on the back and it is also on this flame maple. Is this correct? Am I saying this correct? Neck flame maple, yes. Uh, uh, neck. The neck is also sunburst, as is the headstock. So that's completely fucking crazy. Is that necessary? Who looks at the back of the neck? Well, you do. And you might tell yourself, you know what? I am already spending 4,000 bucks, so fuck the 500. I want it sunburst in the back as well. It's for that kind of buyer. And you know what? You know you want it. I want it. We all want it. Because it's fucking awesome. So, really thick body. 
Because you know what? You can't beat physics. Tone comes from the wood. <laughs> wood. Um, the tuners are open. Lizzie, can you show that? They're freakish. They're hip shot. And they're just a simple mechanical thingy with slightly different looking. These are not wood. These are metal. Cold to the touch. Um, but they're incredibly precise. They're hip shot tuners. Everything on this guitar is as good as it can get. I mean, it's four and a half thousand bucks, okay? Let me read you some stuff. Uh, the nut, Vintage Bone, he only uses Vintage Bone. He actually put Vintage Bone into my uh, Modern Eagle 2. We got ABM for the tailpiece, uh, the ABM 3020 tailpiece and the 2500 ABR Vintage. Um, what else do we have? Rosewood fingerboard. We have very tiny, but very nice does it say that? Is it abalone? Should be. Or is that plastic? Looks like abalone. Who knows? Inlays. Um, pickups. He loves Jason Lawler. Guy from the US. Um, obviously, you can put any pickups in there that you want. Everything's custom. But trust Marcus. He knows his shit. And Lola is as good as it gets. He's also working with Heusel. But these are Lola P90s. Now, some of you might not be in the market for this, and some of you might be new to many things, and I've, I've actually read in comments for other guitars, well, I have this guitar and it's very noisy. Hmm. P90s are, by nature, single cores. They're pretty much thickly wound single cores. So, yes, they will be noisy. Someone said, I've got a guitar with P90s, but it's very noisy, especially when I use my compressor and the distortion. Well, the compressor will raise everything that is quiet and make it louder. And then you add the distortion and you have P90. You're going to have a lot of noise. Okay? Doesn't mean your guitar is broken. Even this 4,500 euro guitar will do that. It simply means they are like single coils. They will be more noisy. Um, we've got CTS Custom Potties and a Lux Black or Lux Black Beauty um, I don't even know what that is. It's a transistor thingy that makes things sound good. Uh, Switchcraft toggle, and it comes, of course, in a case. But all these details you can discuss with him when you call him and show up at his place and talk about your guitar. So this is an idea of where it can go, and it's a cool idea. His guitars already have a lot of attack, a lot of ploppy round attack. Now with the Swamp Ash and the P90s, that is emphasized. And obviously, since this is a uh, maple neck, even more. So this will not give you the less poly sound, but it's still a very fat sound with a lot of detailed attack. As you can see now in the totally clean Sur setting. <laughs> Sound is homogenous, it's round, it's full, it's um, got the attack, it's got the sustain, it's everything in tone that we guitar players long for. wants it, that's his philosophy. In the middle we should go in the tele direction and the telecaster is very very alive right here. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh. 
guitar. This is a rock and roll guitar, a guitar where you actually don't miss the humbucker at all, because fatness is just happening everywhere. Um, let's go and explore a couple more clean sounds. It's a nice spring reverb from the Strymon Big Sky. Let's try some jazzy stuff, let me see. Roll off, I mean with potties like this you can actually use the tone control. I can't play jazz, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So, let's do stuff I know how to do. Um, gonna use the comp driver for a very midzy, kind of bluesy lead tone with the Strymon El Capistan. distortion the, the attack is always present you can always very clearly hear that that's what I, that's how I would describe the quenzel attack you know it's clearly there but you can control it by just easing off the string a little bit. Let's go to kind of a rocky setting with the Milos Popovich Geniac. <laughs> Admitted, a lot of us will buy a guitar, and what are we gonna do 90% of the time? We're gonna sling power chords, so let's look at power chords. <laughs> Let's 
add some gain. <coughs> no, it's not how we add gain. We have to switch. This guitar paints every single note very clearly, no matter what speed. Uh, you, you gotta know how to play with a guitar like this, because any mistake, as you can clearly see, uh, yeah, you will hear. It's just fun. One more thing, let's push the amp with it. See what happens. Well, that's a P90 for you right there. Okay, that's completely incredible how insanely clear those notes are within those distorted chords. Yeah. Now we're going to hear it in the blues track and then we're pretty much done. Here it is. <laughs>
So yeah, this is the Quenzel standard with P90s, completely swamp ash and um, maple. Um, sun bursted it in the back. Just one of the many options you can get at Quenzel Custom Guitars. If you're in the market, please use the link, call him, go to his Facebook site, go to his website, contact him. Um, if you're in the market for any of the shit that you saw in the setup, uh, links are downstairs, as is a link to the backing track that you um, heard. So uh, have fun. Um, you can jam around on that. That's it for me. I'm moving on to the Quenzel Butterfly video. Hope you enjoy that one too. See ya.